Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on DC TV and the Arrowverse as a whole. So, during the 11, I think it was 11 year journey of the Arrowverse, and yeah, starting all the way back in 2012 with the premiere of Arrow up until mid 2023 with the series finale, The Flash, which also marked the conclusion of the Arrowverse, we have had a lot of happy and fun moments that we celebrate and we're like, wow, that was awesome. But along with those, there were some sad moments, like fairly sad moments, is of course including deaths of some of our favourite uh, and just fan favourite and important characters. So while there are, you know, way more than 10 that could have been highlighted in this video, we are going to go over the top 10 deaths from the Arrowverse uh, that... It, well, the top 10 deaths, in my opinion, from the Arrowverse. That's probably the best way to, to word it. And I am sort of ranking these based off the importance to the story, mixed with, like, the, I guess, like the shock value aspect of them as well. And of course the connection to the character that viewers had as well, you know, those are different elements that, you know, come into it. Now there are a couple on this list that might not have had as much of a resonance to viewers as other characters, but they were either important moments and like important deaths that led, led to other stuff, or they were just very surprising and unexpected to the point where like, whoa, what the hell just happened there? But of course, throughout the video, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and maybe any other options you would have included that I did not include, but maybe just leave your, I don't know, top three, maybe a top five, maybe a top 10 if you want to, or maybe just leave your favorite, like what you think is the best death in the Arrowverse or the top death in the Arrowverse. I'm interested to see what people are thinking. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show your support, drop a like, takes two seconds. But yeah, let's get into it, of course, starting at 10th, we will, and I will have some honorable mentions sprinkled in at another section at, you know, at one point in the countdown as well, maybe just before we get into the top three. So number 10, this is one that maybe a lot of people didn't even think of, but I have the Earth 2 Wipeout, and you might be like, what the hell? Now, it was from Arrow Season 8. Now, this was, of course, right at the beginning, it was very unexpected, just because it happens out of nowhere, just all of a sudden, you see the antimatter wave and just you know, just comes and takes out, I think it was the, the Star City Police Department, or the Starling City, I think it was called on Earth 2, it just takes out the whole police department, obviously the entire Earth 2, which of course killed characters that we knew from like the Flash and stuff that were on Earth 2 at that point as well, so this was incredibly unexpected, but also really let us know early on that Crisis was coming, of course, this is more than just one death. It's the death of an Earth. Uh, and this was episode one of Arrow's final season. So it really let us know early on into this year of the Arrowverse that Crisis was coming. At number nine, I have Nora Allen. This, of course, being Barry Allen's mother. This, of course, being from The Flash season one, though it's revisited multiple times. So it technically could be from multiple seasons, even up until the final season of season nine. But, you know, it first happens or we first see it in season one via a flashback. And of course very important. It's one of the most important death on this list. Obviously, it, it's not high up in the list, mainly due to the fact that we didn't really know the character. The, you know, we didn't know Nora before her death. It was really just after seeing her die that we got to know her more through other flashbacks and also future seasons where this, where we see the character again and everything like that. So for some, like some people might have been put in the top three, but for me, just because of like, I'm balancing like how people felt about the character before they die and like, how big of a shock it would have been, it, it just ends up lower on my list. And number eight, I have Martin Stein or Professor Stein, whichever way you want to word it. This, of course, being from the Crisis on Earth X crossover from, what, season four of The Flash it would have been? Like, Arrow season six, I think? Now, of course, unexpected. I can't actually remember at the time if this was even teased. So some of these ones from, like, you know three plus years ago and stuff. I'm just trying to think whether there was any teasers or like even like a spoiler, like a said photo and stuff. But I remember being surprised by it from memory. And of course, it's just a sad death because we weren't just losing someone that was a big part of Legends of Tomorrow, but also The Flash as well was the character on The Flash for the first, you know, what, season and a half roughly. And with Martin Sp uh, Stein, not Spine, Martin, uh, Martin Stein departing, that also meant the end of Firestorm as a character as well, which, you know, that was it's like almost like losing two characters, essentially. At number seven, we have H.R. Wells from The Flash Season 3. Now, this is, I've just sort of put here Twisty McTwist because, of course, this has a bit of a, like a, you know, a bit of a swap thing going on. Now, of course, H.R. dies because he swaps places with Iris and dies at the Blade of Savitar, though we initially think that he's killed Iris, but he's used his, was it Transmogify or whatever it was called, the thing that changed his face and his identity, he's using that to make himself look like Iris. Now, HR does this, you know, as he felt responsible for Iris being caught in the first place after giving up her location to Savitar when he was pretending to be Barry. Of course, this is not only like a sad death, but it's also like a controversial one because people thought, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. But 
yeah, it is what it is. But of course, I think this is one that I think it definitely deserves to be in the top 10 also because of how he died. And I guess the, uh, he was like a true hero in that, in that instance. And number six, I have Captain Cold. This is from the first season of Legend of Tomorrow. I think this might be the only, well, technically Martin Stein is, but in regards to it actually happening on Legends, I think this is the only Legends of Tomorrow death from memory on this list. And of course it's, you know, season one. This from memory was just surprising. I don't think many people really thought Captain Cold, like one of the two main faces of Legend of Tomorrow going into the show alongside White Canary would die in the first season, but he dies in like a pretty heroic fashion, despite being one of the villains brought onto the team. You know, as he says, there's no strings on me or whatever it is. You know, it's, it, it's a great scene. It's, it's great for the character. And I think it's also built up throughout the season as well. So I think it's a fitting death to put on this list. But now we move into the top five, and this might be a controversial one to have at five and maybe not higher on the list. I'm not too sure. I think it fits fairly well here, but I put Oliver Queen here from the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, I think specifically part one. Now, this was expected. I think we'll, I think from memory, this was an expected death. I think they'd actually already filmed the funeral scene, I think, for the character. So I think it was expected, but it's, it's not here because of its like surprise factor it's here because of just the fact it's a big moment like it gets his high on the list just due to the notoriety of the character and also just i think also where it happens in crisis i think we're all like okay he's probably going to die in crisis but where and i think everyone was thinking part four part five but he dies literally in part one so that's maybe the surprise factor there though many people were expecting the death to happen anyway and number four just missing out in the top three i have another queen that being moira queen this happening in arrow season two and this arguably is the first case of a like whoa what the what the f like you know wtf death due to where the death happens like it doesn't happen in a finale or anything like that i think it happens a few episodes before the finale just like you know usually like some of these big deaths are in like the finale just as like a you know play into that and everything like that but it was like the first of these big ones that wasn't in a finale and of course it had a big effect on Oliver and, and also Thea as characters and I remember watching it back when it was airing and just being shocked by it even though the situation it takes place in you know you find characters in situations like that all the time and no one dies but she gets killed in a pretty like fierce manner. But before we head into the top three I will list some honorable mentions that did not make the list. Some might think they deserve to be on the list, some might even think they deserve to be pretty high on the list. So I have Laurel Lance from Arrow Season 4. It's a notable death, but it's an awful death. So it's sort of hard to put it in here. I think all the deaths on this list are sort of like fitting to the character for the most part. Or like the like in regards to like if they had a journey and stuff like that. Laurel's death was awful. So I think it'd almost be a disservice to put it on this list. Though it's a notable death at the same time. I did put Earth 90 Flash from Christ on Infinite Earth just because of the fact that it's from the 90s show and it folded into this and was saying goodbye to that version of the character that had existed for, what, 30 years at that point. So that's why I put Earth 90 Flash on this honorable mentions, even though we only saw him a handful of times. And finally, she didn't make the list, but I think she's probably the most deserving of these three. If I was going to make maybe like a top 15, she'd probably make it. And that's Sarah Lance from Arrow Season 3, just because unexpected, very surprising, the reason that it's not higher, and it's the pretty obvious answer, she comes back to life. That's why. She comes back to life, like literally a year later or something. No, no, that that was that same, no, it was the season after, wasn't it? Yeah, season four of our, I think it was. Was it? Or was it season three? Whenever it was, she comes back to life. So silly things like that. She came back to life. So yeah, it's hard to put her on a list when <laughs> her death was not very long term. But now we move into the top three. And at number three, I have... Henry Allen from The Flash Season 2. This was essentially probably the best way to describe a smack across the face to not only us, the audience, because we just got Henry out of prison and stuff, but of course, Barry as well. You know, his father gets out of prison, is only out for a bit, like at least compared to his time in prison. Like, I think he got out, like, was it like early into Season 2, I think, from memory? Like, I can't remember if it was right at the beginning, but he gets out fairly early into Season 2 from memory. Um, so he's out for like, you know, a decent amount of time, but not in comparison to the amount of time he was in prison. And he's really killed for no reason outside of Zoom wanting Barry to feel more like him. So Zoom being petty and just being like, well, I don't have to do this, but you know, YOLO, I'll just do it anyway. And, you know, it literally sets up Barry to go back and screw up the timeline and stuff like that. So it's not only a notable death, but it's also an important death for where the story went. And number two, just missing out on the top spot, it's another Flash death from an early season, and this is Eddie Thorne from the Flash season one. You know, I did mention Moira being like the first big, like, you know, what the hell, like big, big shocking death, but that wasn't in the finale while this was, and I think this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, 
in regards to just shock value in like in a click of the fingers if that makes like a snap of the fingers just it happening like the moments before eddie kills himself can easily be viewed as like set up and you know a lead up to this choice and it being the way that things have to go to end what's going on with the reverse flash and stuff but it still doesn't make that you know that you know that bang of the gun and the realization that eddie has shot himself to erase his descendant earbud from existence any less shocking and of course since that moment we're all, we're all wondering if there was any going to be any, you know, payoff from that or not payoff, but like follow on. And of course that ended up happening right at the end in the Flash's final season or actually it's final storyline. So it got paid off there, but yeah, I think Eddie Thorne at least definitely deserves to be in the top three. Some would even have him at number one. But you're wondering, okay, well, page you, mate, you idiot. You got Eddie Thorne at number two and Henry Allen at three. You got Oliver Queen at five. You got, you know, Nora Allen at nine, I think. Who's at number one? Well, I have Tommy Merlin from Arrow Season 1, and it's mainly because it was the first. It was the first real real big shocking death. Sure, Robert Queen had died before this, but that was in the pilot, and you know we sort of already knew that he died, I think, by the time that we saw him kill himself. like Many felt back when Arrow was airing its first season that Tommy would go on to be a villain, and we were almost witnessing his origin story, his villain origin story, parallel to Oliver's hero story in Season 1, but his death how he died, why he was there, and the, just the scene between him and Oliver as he's dying, just top tier, and just the fact it was the first big death in the Arrowverse, it's sort of hard for me not to put it in number one. Though some might, if not will, disagree, it's my list, and I think it deserves to be at number one, just because of its notability and just how big it was, and just the fact it was the first of these big, big deaths. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your list or just your top one, maybe your top three. If you have any disagreements with mine, let me know as well. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.